Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen at Soul Magic 99 Today I felt guided to do a Chakra Healing message and reading and this is about the Heart Chakra A lot of people have closed hearts They're afraid to love Afraid to give and receive love And especially on the Twin Flame journey I feel there is a lot of stuckness so I was guided to do this reading to help assist you to open and heal and activate your heart chakra. So I'm playing some healing music. So we're just going to clear the energy. And we're going to get some messages for you. So this is from my chakra healing message cards. So I just want to read a bit about the heart chakra. The heart chakra is in the centre of the chest and it governs compassion, affection and love. When this chakra is in balance, there is loving of self and others, good relationships. When you are out of balance, your feelings are blocked you're lonely, you feel isolated, resentment, bitterness, fear. You may have health issues which affect the heart, lungs and just arms and hands. To help balance this chakra, you can use crystals such as rose quartz, rhodochrosite, green adventurine. You can use oils, which is burning oils, or use them in your bath. Rose, Neroli, Melissa, Marjoram, or you can eat green foods such as limes, spinach and green apples. You can do a meditation by imagining yourself laying in a field of grass and visualise white light going into your chest area to cleanse and clear and visualise a green ball of bright light in your chest Imagine it spinning and getting larger and larger until the green encompasses your whole body and this will help reactivate this chakra. So let's get some messages that we have to help you. So an affirmation you can say is, my heart is open. My heart is open. I love myself deeply and completely and you can dab a blend of rose oil on your wrists while repeating the mantra YAM to encourage self-acceptance. Affirmation, I release past hurt. Take deep breath as you inhale, focus on what's troubling you and as you exhale imagine releasing the hurt. Compassion flows through me. Carry a piece of green adventurine to help forge compassionate relationships with others. So some guidance for you there. So now we're going to get some deeper messages. So the heart chakra. We have the first is inner child. So let's get your messages for that. It is time to create a more fulfilling, loving relationship with your inner child. Each person has within them aspects of a child. Those parts of us that can be vulnerable, misunderstood, unloved, not heard. Those wounded feelings we hold on to as children. When we take these experiences into our adult life, our connection to the inner child is sometimes forgotten. Have you been beating yourself up lately or been down on yourself? and allowed people and situations in your life to affect you negatively. Pulling this card today highlights you are currently reacting to a situation from the perspective of your inner child. Old wounds may be opened and you may feel trapped and confused. Know that it's time to give your inner child some love and care. Take some time to tune into this wounded being who lies within you. Ask what he or she requires in order to heal. You may feel drawn to go and see a healer 
or just take some quiet time to engage in an inner dialogue with this part of you. Whatever is required, know it's a powerful time of healing and breaking free from those old restraints. It's time to set your inner child free and allow this aspect to feel safe, loved and heard. So that's beautiful. Then we have love. Your true essence and every single cell in your being vibrates to the powerful essence of love. You may be going through a challenging time at present, such as a relationship breakup, a challenging family situation, a friendship breakdown or some personal challenges. Pulling this card today is a reminder that love is the key to your current situation. It's time to bring the focus back to love and to what is important and true for you. Love is the biggest healer of all and has the power to create miracles in your life. It's very easy to sway from the essence of love, especially in our crazy fast-paced lives. But you can never venture too far from this powerful essence because you are love. It resonates in every cell of your being. It's time to open and allow this energy to flow into your world and into those challenges your experiences. Do what is required to become open to love. Do you need some time for you, a holiday, a change of job, a deep honest conversation with someone? Whatever it is, gift yourself that time and space with love. No matter what someone has or hasn't done, including yourself, we are all deserving of love in all its forms. So again, that's a beautiful message. Then we have forgiveness. When we hold on to grudges and wounds from the past, we can create imbalance and disharmony in our life. Over time, this can turn into resentment, anger, frustration and sickness and depression, like rotten fruit creating a disease inside us. You may be feeling flat and down about something that has happened in your life, and it's now time to bring the healing energy of forgiveness to the situation. True forgiveness starts with you. Take time over the next few days to ask yourself, what am I holding on to? What requires love, attention and forgiveness? When you have identified the issue, make sure you do what is required to surrender or expand your, your awareness that a place that allows for true forgiveness to occur. When you can truly forgive and let go and can set yourself free from those stale energies and beliefs and deep healing can occur, you will still feel so much lighter and happier in your world. If you've asked a question about a situation or person, this is a sign for you that forgiveness is required to move forward. So yes, it's always a powerful thing to forgive. To forgive yourself and to forgive others. And then we have play. Look at the beautiful dolphins. This is a reminder to bring more play into your world. Life may have been getting you down of late and the worry of the day-to-day -day commitments may be causing you a mountain of stress. One of the most powerful ways to release the tension and worries of the world is to take some time to play and feel joy. Life become, can become so intense and serious we forget to play, which is the fundamental expression of joy of the soul. It is time to connect with this joyful, joyful aspect of you and embrace the essence of play. When was the last time you played? You may like to take your dog to the park, go to a beach, play a game of sport, whatever it is that allows you to give the gift of play to yourself. It's important for your growth at this time to allow the energy of play to cleanse mind, body and spirit. It is a natural state to play and have fun. Playfulness is a powerful medicine for the soul and brings down a deep release, healing stale energies and worries. Play brings about a deep connection to the joy of the cosmos. Bring more play into your life today so you can feel the joy of the cosmos flowing through your soul and into your world. Affirmation. I play joyfully in the magic of the universe and I am free to be me. So that's beautiful. And that's so true. So many of us get caught up in our work. We do forget to play. So find time to play. Have fun. You know, have that joyful innocent playtime so now we've got some chakra messages so we have the four of cups 
the Wheel of Fortune, the Princess of Swords and the Star. So this is a beautiful message basically, isn't it? You know, this is about, the Four of Cups to me is about past, you know, past love affairs, maybe past hurts, and not recognising that there is actually new love on the horizon, new things coming in. This is about having that truthfulness in your life, that honesty, that clarity. So be clear on what it is you, you want to have. And the star is, I always see it as like a wish fulfillment, you know, dreams coming true, manifesting your heart desire. So once your heart is open and you are fully loving yourself the way you can love another, you will invite this love into your life. And we've got the beautiful stars looking the shape of a heart. And then we have the wheel of fortune. So you do this work on yourself and you can change your fortune. You know, the wheel will turn in your favour. You'll stop being stuck. You know, work on your inner child. Have that self-love. Have that forgiveness for self and for others. And have that playtime. So that's beautiful. So now we've got some self-love messages for you. So have boundaries in your life, okay? Make sure that people know where they stand with you. You know, just have those boundaries, especially in love relationships. You know, it's so easy to just overgive. I've been in that situation myself. You know, you give, 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 and then it doesn't leave room for anyone else to give to you. You know, because l true love is about give and receive. And also to yourself, you know, allow yourself to give to others and allow yourself to receive from others because that is a gift to them to allow them to give to you okay so but have those boundaries you know have those firm boundaries in your life silver waterfall and we have silver waterfall and to me this is about cleansing like a cleansing ritual you know clearing your aura and you can see the figure here is under a beautiful waterfall and you could do the same by just going in a shower um, indoors or a bath you know just using water to cleanse your aura okay you can put sea salt in the water or Epsom salts have some candles some beautiful healing music to give yourself a nice cleanse a nice clear of your aura and we've got the beautiful rainbow here and we've also got swan which is a sign of the twin flames and a beautiful butterfly and then two birds i'm not sure what birds maybe parrots or birds of paradise beautiful birds so that's like partnership so you know work on this cleanse and clear your aura work on your heart chakra to bring in beautiful new beginnings in love and we have manifestation here and if you can see this this person here has the heart the sacral and the base chakra and a figure eight and you can use these three chakras to help you manifest and you can do this ritual you know in meditation and focus on linking these the base the sacral and the heart chakra in a figure eight moving the energy around your body then we have worthiness so know you are worthy you are worthy of love okay you deserve love you are worthy of all good you know you are loved loving and lovable you are a wor person worthy of love and having love in your life you are deserving of that just know that and then we have forgiveness which came up before I forgive myself I am forgiven sometimes the hardest thing to do is forgive ourselves for our past mistakes but you know you need to do this to move on okay we all make mistakes in life you know we all have regrets and we all 
you know, wish we hadn't done certain things. But we cannot change the past, but we can change the future. So let go of these past mistakes, you know, upsets, whatever it is. Just forgive yourself for these mistakes. And also forgive other people for their mistakes that may have affected you. It doesn't excuse their behaviour, but it just allows you to move on in life without these connections. And you can call on Archangel Michael as well to use his sword of truth to detach you from these negative um, attachments to past situations. And he will cut these cords with you to help you. And again, it says, love who you are. You are divine, delightful, deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer. So know this, you deserve love, you know, you deserve love. Just know that. You are a good person, you are deserving of love in your life. We are here to love, you know, love is one of the highest energies of all. But obviously love starts with self, so work on yourself. Work on your heart chakra. Treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. And again, nurture those connections you have with friends, family. You know, love and be loved. You know, there's nothing better in this world to have that love and support from other people that mean the world to us. And we're here for such a short time on planet Earth. So it's good that we appreciate those that we have in our lives, those special connections and treasure those moments because they go by in a blink of an eye look to your inner strength you're stronger than you realize so life has taught you lessons you've been through ups and downs and you've developed this inner strength okay you are stronger than you think you can cope with more than you think and sometimes we get these lessons and you know there's obstacles to overcome and we have to do this and we somehow find this inner strength and know that you can survive anything okay you have that inner strength okay because your guides and angels are here supporting you and you can call on god and this is the 11 card so this is about possibly a twin plane connection that maybe you're in separation and you can't be together at this time but know that you will get through this. This is just a phase. Okay? And use your inner strength. Focus on loving you. That self-love, that self-worth. And the more you do this, the quicker you can come back together. Have faith. How trust your faith in the situation. So yes, have faith. Look at all the beautiful butterflies here. That's wonderful. You know, this is about new beginnings, new starts, fresh hope coming in. Have faith in your situation. Never give up that faith and hope that things will work out for the best of all. Just trust in the divine. And again, we have miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. So there will be miracles and blessings in your life. Again, you just have to trust and believe in that. You know, your guides and angels and God are there with you, supporting you, loving you along your path. And whenever you get confused or upset or angry with anything, just call on them to help you. You need to call on them and they will come in and help you. <laughs> I was just saying, ask for help. What do you really need? Be willing to accept support. So yeah, ask your angels, your guides, you know, the ascended masters, gods, whatever you connect to, ask for their help at this time and they will come in and assist you and guide you along your path. And we have practiced compassion. See things from a fresh perspective. So be compassionate to yourself first and then compassionate to others. Every living creature, look at, you know, this beautiful little bird and a little mouse, all these living creatures, a little rabbit, 
All these living creatures give unconditional love. So lo love, un love unconditionally, love yourself unconditionally, and love others unconditionally. Have that compassion for everything in the world and yourself included. We have Tantric Union. So when you are with your beloved, whether it be a twin flame or soulmate connection, the highest possible form of connection, the Tantric Union, where you are connected as one, two souls as one if you're twin flames, in the bliss of being together, mind, body and spirit, so this tantric union is on the horizon i feel but you need to do this work on your own heart on your own heart chakra love yourself and open up your heart to give and receive love we've got meditation so it would help you to go into meditation to connect with your chakras to do the work on your chakras regularly to cleanse and clear them but particularly focus on your heart chakra this time okay open your heart chakra to give and receive love don't stay blocked don't block this beautiful abundance from coming into your life the mystic so some of you have got these intuitive powers these clairvoyant powers you you could see into the future you know you have that spiritual knowledge that you are connected to all that is your third eye is opening you're connecting with your crown chakra to the divine to the universe you are connecting with yourself you're going within connecting to your higher self you are becoming an all-knowing person and there has been sorrow in your life and don't be afraid to express that sorrow we need to release we need to let go of those tears that sadness those heart feelings because it's cleansing to the soul and you will feel so much better don't hold on to sadness you know let it flow as the river flows down the valley let the water flow from your eyes let those hurt feelings come to the surface and you'll feel so much better for doing that. Celebration. And we've got the Dove of Peace. So to me, this is like, you do this work on your heart chakra, you will feel that inner peace. You're going to forgive yourself, you're going to forgive others, you're going to do your inner child work, you're going to find time for play, you're going to bring that joy back into your life again and it'd be time to celebrate so that's beautiful and we have guardians so this is your guardian angel letting you know that they are here to be called on at any time you can call on them at any time but they need you to ask them for help they won't intervene otherwise and if you need that guidance and assistance just call on your guardian angel they are here waiting okay and maybe you sounds like i'm using sounds today in this video use music you know whatever you like to listen to it could just be the sound of you know the birds singing that's a beautiful sound the water running down a mountainside over the rocks you know the sound of a waterfall the sound of the ocean you know the sound of the leaves rustling in the wind you know find what works for you use those sounds to help you heal to help you heal your heart and listen listen to your inner guidance listen to your guides your angelic guides, your spirit guides, your teachers from the esoteric realms. Listen to your own intuition. Take that time, that quiet time to just listen. Listen to the beat of your heart. Listen to your breath. Slow down and go within. 
and also take care of your physical body as well. Nurture yourself like you would a child, you know, that you were raising, you know. Make sure that you make the good decisions with what you eat, what you drink, you know, what exercise you do. Do you take care of your skin, your hair? You know, nurture your physical body, you know. It's not all about physical appearances, but it's to keep yourself healthy and fit for the journey ahead, okay? So I'm just going to get one more message. So we have the Empress. So this is the ultimate woman. This is the ultimate female. She's a catch for any man. And, you know, you can be that person. You know, you can be that person. Be the empress in your own life. Okay? Just nurture yourself. Take good care of yourself. Love yourself. You know, forgive. You know, work with your inner child. Have that playtime. Just be an all-round human woman with that open-heartedness of love to give and receive love. And love yourself first, remember that. Always love yourself first. So work on this and you will attract the same in another. Someone who has worked on their selves and loved their selves. So that two whole people can come together as one. So I'm going to leave that message there. So I hope that helped and assisted some of you. So please like, share, subscribe, comment down below. And I will see you in my next video. Sending lots of love. Take care. Bye for now.